took off the gloves, and we're going to keep our mouthpieces in just in case someone gets too, uh, you know, overzealous and blast someone with a head kick. So what we're going to do now, because there's a little bit of, there's a lot of you that aren't really kicking to the best of your ability. I'm not going to say you're kicking wrong. I will never say you're kicking wrong. Your instructor might have shown you how to kick a different way, so it's, I'm no one to say you're kicking wrong. So Coach Scotty, he's done a lot of training, and he's even gone to Thailand. So what we're going to go over is a little bit of body conditioning with a lot more technique, okay? I'm actually going to decide outside. Okay. Okay. So. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So your partner's just going to stand there in a regular stance. Okay. He's going to lift up his elbow because we're going to condition the body a little bit. Okay. But the person kicking, you should be focused on technique. Okay. This is not a kick. This is not a kick. Okay. So we're going to technique. You don't have to add power to it, but again, technique. Okay. So you're going to start off with the inside leg kick. When you do the inside leg kick. We'll start off right now with the pendulum shuffle, okay? Just here, here, okay? I like to cross my hand over my face. Yes, especially because I'm keeping that side. Realize your legs are longer than their arms. If I'm in range to kick him or something, he shouldn't be able to be able to punch you, okay? So, so if he is, he's gonna be punching the same side I'm bringing my hand down for counter balance. Remember, anytime your leg goes forward, you need to bring your hand back for counter balance. So I'm just like this, my body's actually gonna wanna go backwards just to balance myself out. But you not want to keep. You want to keep your body parallel, always straight up and down with your opponent. So, as I go to kick, okay, I bring this in, okay, boom, okay. So bring it across your face. You're gonna start off with the inside leg kick, boom, okay. Down and switch to an outside kick, boom, okay. When you're doing low kicks, your foot, your pivot foot is gonna stay flat on the ground, okay, flat footed. Now when I go back, I'm gonna start doing a switch kick to the midsection, okay. When I do that, I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna step, and I'm gonna go on my the ball of my feet. Anytime it's a midsection or high kick, you need to be on the ball of your feet, okay? So, I'm gonna be right here, okay? And then come right back. Now I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna step out, swing it, and then bring back, okay? Me? Yeah, and then we're gonna go back to the inside again. So here, boom, here, here. Okay, and then come back and start all over again. <laughs> Okay? And look at, I'm not adding power or anything, I'm trying to go smooth, I'm trying to incorporate everything. Pivoting on my feet, swinging my hand back, blocking my face, bringing my knee up first and then turning it over, okay? A lot of people kick straight up like this. You kick up like this, yeah, you're gonna grab it, or you're gonna kick somebody's elbow. If you've ever kicked somebody's elbow, it hurts more than, yeah, it does not really feel good, okay? Another reason is, why you bring your knee up and you turn it over first, if I go to kick and he rushes me, he's gonna take yeah, yeah, He'll take a knee instead of a shin, okay? So he, it's like, Covers both the grounds, okay? So again, one last time. Here, inside. Here. Okay, and then back. And then we start doing it 